getting late in the day. I'm trying to find a good camera angle where I can see with my reading glasses and with the camera. Uh, enough room to travel there. Running out of travel room on my left arm. Thought I might. Okay. Tell you, it's been a long day. Got a whole bunch of other stuff to do that had to be done. Let me get these things off. Let's see what we got here. I did earlier but when I went and looked at the video the camera was pointed well I was welding up above the camera couldn't even see it it's been a crappy day all right that turned out pretty nice nobody's going to fire you for doing a job like that okay uh, let's break this down here's the start of the weld there's where it ended um, I don't like to talk when I'm welding, but I can talk now. <laughs> I gotta concentrate. I got like my tongue sticking out the left side of my mouth. This uphill's hard. Don't let anybody kid you. All right. At the beginning, I don't know if you saw it, but I paused just enough. And you got a cold start too. You want to warm it up before you start going uphill, anyhow. But I paused long enough to build a shelf. Here's my arc, and I'm just letting it sit for you know a second or so. Until I see a shelf down here. Once I see that shelf, I know I've got something for this metal to lay on. So I can start working my way up. And I'm working my way up, as you saw, pretty evenly. I, I don't slam from side to side, hold, hold, hold that, you know, some guys say you need to hold there a second. Well, I, I, I don't do that. What I do is I run a narrow bead. It's a stringer. It's twice. Let me see. Here's one that hadn't been burnt down. It's twice the width of the rod, which that's about what a stringer ought to be. And this is 3 seconds, And that's 3 16th plate. So it's, it's a good rod for this size plate. But anyhow, I'm just bringing her up. And what instead of holding on the sides here where I'm going to get all droopy looking, what I'll do is I'll keep an eye on that puddle. 
because I'm making undercut as I go up here. I mean, that, that, you're digging a trench because you're in the push position. Your rod is facing uphill and it's, it's digging a hole and you're dragging that puddle along behind you to fill that hole. Anyhow, uh, what I'm doing is I'm keeping an eye on my puddle down here. You probably saw it. And I'm making sure that puddle has filled my undercut. I'm not holding here to fill the undercut or here. I'm holding some at the sides, you can see, but it's not much more than a flat weld. And I'm just watching that puddle. That puddle does that job for me. It flows down in there and it fills in that trench. Um, another thing you can do if you're running these is fool yourself into thinking this is a flat weld. Just run it like you would a flat weld, but run it uphill, okay? Let's see, we're just cruising along. And the key is steady, 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 steady. Uh, you get better at it with time. Uh, everybody does it. you got to practice. Um, if I can do this, I feel anybody can. Um, it, it isn't rocket science. I'm no genius. Um, I'm just a guy, you know. And, um, but there you see what we've got. Now, another thing you'll notice, when you get up here near the end of the plate, you're going to see arc blow. And arc blow is, all it is, is with the DC rod, you've got a magnetic field, I guess, on both sides of that rod. Uh, I've, I've seen explanations. I mean, I'm not 100% on it, so don't take this to the bank. But you got a large bow out here, but as you get towards the end of that uh, piece of metal, that magnetic field gets compressed. And the arc is going to want to go back down here. It's going to want to go back downhill instead of coming up behind you. So what you need to do is when you see that starting to, you'll see it flare. It's going to start looking funny to you. You know, it'll get bright. It doesn't seem like you got any control over it. When that starts happening to you, there again, keep a close eye on that puddle and you may have to start moving faster because it's trying to blow metal back downhill and you've got to stay ahead of that or you're going to spill your metal. And that's pretty much it in a nutshell. I hope it helped. Uh, it, it's, like I say, it, it, it's not rocket science. and I, I just hope really everybody can do a nice job at this. I mean, don't let people scare you and don't let them, you know, ride roughshod over you like it's, you know, uh, the holy grail. It isn't. It, it, it's just a weld. It's gravity and it's molten metal. All right, well, that ought to do it. Y'all take care.